played Ohio State. Um, I thought they played really hard. Uh, came out with a lot of energy. Um, you know, jumped on us pretty fast, and that was something we kind of talked about all week. Was you know they were going to be fast from the whistle. Um, you know, we had kind of spoken just from from the perspective of hey, we've been in that spot, uh, knowing the way the last game ended last year, um, knowing the, the amount of motivation that that provides, and the, and. We're all competitors, um, so you know I thought they just did a great job there, and they were a little bit faster than us. Uh, whether it was at the faceoff action on the wings and, and just all over, uh, I give our guys credit. Uh, kind of came back, caught ourselves, and kept battling, and uh, just couldn't seem to get ahead. Um, they, you know, they just you know they do a great job of having a long possession and kind of bleeding it down and, and capitalizing and uh, getting some inside shots, and they did a really good job of attacking the interior of our defense. So. Uh, give credit where credit's due. Uh, obviously, as always, I'm proud of my guys. I love them. Uh, just not our day, and got to go back to work uh, come Tuesday and, and get ready. Questions? Connor, the uh, the hit you gave seemed to cause you some some kind of problem. Did it affect you the rest of the game? Uh, no, I don't think so. It was just a little, it's just a little bump, a little bruise, but you know, you got to battle through those, and I don't think it affected. Me. I mean, are you all right? You yeah, know, at the I'm end fine. of the game. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Now, what sort of difficulty did the invert with Jasinski in particular provide you guys? Um, you know, it's funny. We, they're not an overly complicated group. They haven't been all year. and. Uh, he didn't give us anything different than we practiced. Um, you know, I think we had some communication breakdowns. Um, you know, and, and if you don't do a good job and you're not buttoned up, they're not afraid to jam it in there. And, and based on last week and what we did, like, I would jam it in there too. Um, you know, we looked at what we did and what we didn't do. Uh, we dressed it all week. Um, and, you know, just knowing kind of what they do, we practice it a lot. I thought we had a pretty good understanding. Obviously, I didn't do a very good job of communicating that to our guys and getting them ready. If, if we have those breakdowns, that's on me. Like, I just, I got to make sure that we're communicating better and we're in our spots a little bit better. So we're going to have to get on that, uh, obviously, on Tuesday. Hunter, Adam, what wasn't working to face off backs and just other wings today? Oh, well, they got a great face off guy, you know. We got a great group. They continue to work each and every week. But uh, credit to Ohio State, you know they're really uh, gritty off the wings. Uh, they got a great wing play. But uh, we just gotta get back to work this week. Yeah, I think we uh, we gotta come out of the locker room with a little more energy. Um, I think it's noticeable. You know they came out with a four zero run to start, and you know we kind of you know we took a breath and you know we, we got back on our feet. But uh, I'd say coming out even in the first you know the first at the start and then at halftime we gotta just come out with more energy and. You know, that just starts inside the locker room and with us. Coach, talk about the effort of Dan Morris today. I thought that, especially down the wire, he was unbelievable in some of the saves he made. Yeah, I thought we really kind of kept us in there for a while, you know, like when they were, you know, getting some momentum. And, and they were patient, you know, they were waiting for the best look and the best shot. Um, and, you know, when, when we needed him, he was there. Um, you know, and that says a lot about Danny. He, he doesn't seem to get too many easy ones. Um, so. Uh, you know, with him, most of those saves are going to be quality, and we have a lot of confidence in him. Coach, what are your just thoughts on face-off play today, and how do you just address that going into obviously another big game next week? Yeah, I mean, well, I, I think, listen, like anything else, we'll go back to work, we'll look at the film. I, I think it wasn't just the, the face-off guys. We always look at it as three-on-three, ten-on-ten. Uh, I'd listen to bright spots, Justin Chalk. He came in, second half went 50%, so that's positive right there. Um, so that's something to build on. Uh, you know, Justin just, you know, he, last week was struggling a little bit, you know, had some violations. Um, so, you know, we felt like Austin came out and did really, really well. I think the challenge for us is to try to get everybody in a good place and, and feel like we can use kind of like we talked about that hog pen mentality of, of, of those face-off guys. And if we can get everybody on the same page and, and keep improving on that wing play, um, you know, hopefully good things will happen. But I, I really like, you know, Ohio State's wings. They've been good for the last couple of years, 44. Freddie Freebot's terrific. Obviously, 34 does a great job, and they have good athletes there. So uh, we're going to have to go back and learn like we always do, look where we can improve, stick together, uh, you know, and get ready, obviously, for a big challenge next weekend. That's how we always do it, win, lose, or draw. Uh, I have confidence in our guys. I love this group. Uh, I feel for them right now, but uh, it's not going to change our mindset at all. We're going to come back on Tuesday and, and try to learn and grow and, and keep moving forward.
Uh, Coach, just going off that, what's the thought behind you know starting you know double long pull on the wings with the face off in the second half? Um, you know, we, we love last year at this time we started using Bryce up there a little bit more. Um, as actually, I think when Matt Pons came back last year, we were able to do that, and, and we love Bryce up there. He's good off the ground. He's physical. He's got a great stick. So uh, having that presence up there, I think, is is great for us. So you know, if we can continue to do that, I think that does help us. Coach, just the three assists on the day. What did you see from their defense that really limited ball movement and made it hard for you to get that ball movement? Yeah, their their defense is very very good. You know, basically everybody is back but the goalie from last year, and I, I thought they were terrific last year. Their individual defenders are very athletic. Uh, they do a great job uh, just with their defense. Their schemes are good. They're really solid. They're fundamental. Uh, they don't really beat themselves. Um, so. You know, you got to make sure that you work, you move. Um, you know, you're not going to get a lot early. And I thought when we had some shots, give credit to the goalie. I thought he made some really good saves. Um, you know, and so when we had, you know, good looks and didn't get them, uh, he made some good saves to kind of get it back for him. Connor, what was the conversation like when you guys were down for the second time by three? Or the conversation with coaches and with the rest of the team when you guys were down by three again? Uh, yeah, I think we were calm. Uh, we've been there before. You know, we try to stay composed in the huddle, see what we can do coming out of the huddle. But you know, credit to Ohio State, and like you said, they got great defense. So it's hard to find those skips, and you know, we just got to continue to get better and move the ball. I think we got a great group, and we'll learn from this. Adam, was there a point where you felt like this game was getting away from you a little bit? Not at one point. I, we keep it very composed in the huddles, especially during those timeouts and even TV timeouts. You know, we kind of talk over what's next. You know, we, we anticipate you know, good positive things happening, but also negative. So, you know, we kind of are prepared for any any situation that is kind of thrown at us. Um, so there's no lapse in composure, I'd say. Coach, did you notice another um, kind of lack of composure with the clearing game today? You saw Corley's miss pass that led to just uh, that response goal and then the um, no, I mean, we clear 15 out of 16 today, so obviously, you know, you'd like to get them all, um, but, you know, you're, you're at 94% there, so that's not too, too bad. I, I thought Kurt, you know, did a great job. There's a loose ball there. He picks it up. He comes down, and they do a really good job as he's coming down. They lock the attackman, so he can't really go forward, and then he has a sideline pinning him in. He has a defenseman coming to him. Um, you know, there's some pressure on him, and he went to throw, and he threw it to Thomas, and Thomas O'Connell's open. He just throws it a little low. It goes past Thomas. It actually goes by Nick Brzezowski, um, and the ball goes to that end. And that was a big play. Um, I mean, that's listen. Unfortunately, the beauty of our game is the spontaneity of it. Um, it was a broken play, uh, kind of a hustle play by them. Um, and those are the plays that are kind of unscripted. And you know, you hope that you hustle and you fight and you, you get on ground balls and. Uh, unfortunately, we kind of had a two-on-one situation there that we had a young guy in that spot hustling in and, and give them credit. You know, they had an opportunity, they pounced on it. And sometimes, you know, that's what it comes down to, those little plays, those little broken plays. And so what we're going to go back to is look and go, all right, what are the plays that we can control just in terms of, you know, just our discipline, our details, um, our communication, because some of those plays are out of your control. You're going to play good teams like Ohio State. They're going to put pressure on you. Uh, they're going to make some things happen. Uh, but we want to do a good job of just not beating ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we've got to look to kind of raise our level in some areas. Um, certainly, we feel good about our defense. We feel good about our potential of our offense. Obviously, we got to, got to keep working on the face-off stuff, but it's kind of where we were last year when we went out to Ohio State. They kicked our butt at the X, so uh, we've got to regroup there. I know we're going to put the time and the effort and, and see if we can get that turned around. I have one more. Coach, could you talk a little bit about the resiliency of this team being down three goals twice and then coming back to tie it? Although it was a loss, you still have to be happy with that resiliency to come back twice. Yeah, and I, I think that to me that's that's the core of our program is to be a Terp. You know, it's something we talk about, you know, since the day you get here. You know, it's you don't you don't let your environment dictate your attitude. You know, like we're we're gonna have moments where we're gonna be down. We don't focus on the scoreboard. It's about making the next play. It's about sticking together uh, and believing in each other. Um, you know, and, and no one really flinched when we were down. Um, it just makes it that much harder, you know, to kind of dig your way out. And, and sometimes you have to win those games. Um, but I know with with our group, even if we get down, you know, there's always a way to come back. 
Um, so, again, I think take the positives from this, take the things that we didn't do well and learn from them. Um, you know, obviously as a coach, i got to do a better job of getting our guys prepared, you know, coming in and out of the locker room and clean some things up. But we have a great group, a group that cares, takes a lot of pride in playing for Maryland, and uh, we'll come back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.